You're listening to the BBM Global Network with 25 years in broadcast audio and video production. Our passionate team creates content and marketing for the world of Internet talk radio. If you've got a passion, come join us at BBMGlobalNetwork.com. The BBM Global Network. Your voice is now heard. Welcome to The Kathy Pickett Show. Author, speaker, intuitive healing energy practitioner and registered nurse, Kathy Pickett, creates a window into the energy and mystical realms of magic and possibilities seen through her initiations as a child, an adult, and an intuitive energy healer. So now, please welcome Kathy Pickett. Hi, everybody. Good evening. I'm Kathy Pickett. And I'm hosting the Kathy Pickett Radio Show live on BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. Tonight, we're going to be talking about some insights for your soul journey on healing yourself and healing others through an understanding of the unique power within you, the energy laws, and the highly structured universe. The call-in number for tonight's show is 1-877-475-8570. I'd love to hear from you if you have a question or if you'd like more guidance on moving through these energy laws and connecting to the power within you to heal yourself and others. I wanted to let you know about my website as well. It's www.kathypickett.com. That's K-A-T-H-I-P-I-C-K-E-T-T. If you become a member on my website, you'll have access to guided meditations and some lots of blogs, and you'll get my email talking about the show and letting you know the topics that are coming up. You can also connect with me if you're interested in a one-on-one session. And the really good news is for me, and I hope for all of you as well, is that I have a book coming out next year. It's called On Becoming You. And if you sign up as a member, you'll be one of the first to know when it's released. It's going to be a compilation of my journey as a child and adult and an energy healer in the mystical realms and the energy non-physical experiences that I've had. It will be a lot of what I've talked about on the show and much, much more. And if you would like that resource with the tools within the book and affirmations and other things to guide you on your way, uh, please sign up on my website and I'll, I'll let you know when that's available. So tonight we're talking about how to tune in to the power within to heal how to connect with the unique essence within us so that we can heal ourselves and heal others. You know, there's so much that goes on in the world. We talked last week a lot about sending and receiving energy and how to hold our power when other things are happening in the environment around us and also within us. And it's all about practicing with this focused intention to connect with the divine light within and the universal light that's infinite and always available to us. Our fears, our doubts, our worries, all of those things cloud and create a fog around our unique essence. So there's a barrier between us and this universal life force that is imperative for healing. So as we shed all of these things that no longer serve us in our body, we actually ignite more power that we can channel through us to others. You know, so many people talk about how much I do for others, how much I do for others. And they leave their self-care as one of the last things on the list, if I get around to it, kind of thing. But the truth is that when we fill ourselves with light and love, we actually can hold more light and love to send to those that we care about in the world. So it's really a practice of loving self so we can selflessly care for others. And during this process of healing, and we're going to do a healing tonight, I'll do a meditation to clear your energy field, and then we'll do a meditation to clear and send light and love and healing to someone who you love and someone you care about. And one of the most important things in the ritual of healing is the power of love, because love is a frequency. Love is the frequency of this universal life 
force flowing through us, which we know heightens our immune response, clears our mind, calms emotion, and connects us to source energy. So love is the only frequency that we invite in. We do not invite in any other frequency, which means any thought, word, or action of judgment, of criticism, of wanting things a certain way, anything that limits the flow of energy is not helpful. I'm going to be telling you a story tonight about a a mother who came to me whose son who was um, challenged with addictions. You know, and he's made a lot of bad choices in life. But if we accept him where he is and connect to the divine light within him, then he can actually heal and move forward in life. So there's no criticism and there's no ridicule. In fact, if you can imagine as you're envisioning this person, everything in their life that is blessed, everything that is joy, everything they have done where they helped somebody else or they smiled or something happened, they were funny, remembering all the lightness in their energy field actually helps to ignite it. It's like creating sparkles all throughout the field. Every time you think of a time when they did something that was kind or thoughtful or loving, all these sparks and the more and more sparks we have of that divine essence ignited and lit up, the more the field can be filled with love. So using your thoughts wisely in healing, right? That's very, very happy. We never mention indiscretions during healing, right? We only honor. That's how we heal. We heal through love. And love actually can heal all wounds. It's the strongest power that you have within you, pure, unconditional love. You know, I invite people to go to the top of the mountain sometimes, I'll say, or maybe the the top of a penthouse. Because spiritually, when we move up to the mist, And we can see the world and we can see the souls. We can see people on their journeys. We can see all the little indiscretions. They really don't make a big deal when we look at the big picture. So if you're able to see the soul on their journey and create this wonderful light and love around them for their health, their well-being. And the fact is, you know, when we do heal ourselves and send light to others, so that they can become more whole, perfect, and complete in their expression of themselves and the earth experience, they can actually then bring more love and light to others. And it moves and spreads across the earth. And that's how it happens, one kindness, one act of love. And it just starts with each and every one of us every single day. We always have the power of love, and we can always do something to make our world a better place. We may not be able to change all the big things, but we can change the light and love that's being sent in and around us in the world. So it's about how you honor yourself. Do you take care of yourself? Do you find time to sit in silence and to really know yourself and who you are? Do you sleep well at night? You know, not sleeping at night is a real sign that something's out of balance. And so many times when we don't sleep, it's because our minds are going through all of these scenarios, the possibilities. What if I do this? What if I do that? Maybe I can think what, what, blah, blah. And it just turns out to the cycle. Is because sometimes, you know, as humans, we think the brain is supposed to be able to figure it out. But lots of time, the answer is not in the brain. So the brain just churns and churns and churns looking for the answer that's not there, just burning all this energy up, you know, and it keeps us from sleeping at night. So in order to sleep at night, we can at least know we've done the best we could by sending light and love to those that we love in the world around us. And no matter what the reason is for healing, whether it's healing from cancer or if it's healing from addiction or alcoholism or past traumas, past dramas, lost relationships, whatever it is that you would like to have in balance within your body, the answer is always the same. We can bring in more light and love and peace and calm for us to be in a better place, to make us feel whole. And it's always available to us, this universal, infinite light and love, just like the sun, is always available to us. When we get back, I'm going to guide you through a meditation to prepare you to heal someone you love. I'm Kathy Pickett, hosting the Kathy Pickett Radio Show, live on BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. Stay tuned. 
Are you looking for employment and live in Los Angeles, Orange, Riverside, and San Bernardino counties? Jobs Annex is the place for you. Are you an employer looking to fill a position or quite a few positions in Los Angeles, Orange, Riverside, and San Bernardino counties? Jobs Annex is for you. Employers, JobsAnnex.com is your resource for career-minded people. JobsAnnex.com is the convenient place for job seekers and employers to hook up and move forward. Jobs Annex has been serving Los Angeles, Orange, Riverside, and San Bernardino counties for over 14 years. Jobs Annex is a former employment search firm. We've evaluated many thousands of resumes and we understand what employers want and what job applicants need to be successful in their interviews. At Jobs Annex, we provide you with the tools to tell your story for free. Our resources at JobsAnnex.com will help each applicant construct an award-winning resume, an eye-catching cover letter, and key interview questions to ask in various types of interviews. Best of all, it's free. JobsAnnex.com. That's J-O-B-S-A-N-N-E-X.com. Escape from Hell, A Woman's Story is a passionate book that tells the true story of author Rhonda Knudsen's journey through the darkness and adversity of abuse. The book takes readers on an emotional trail from the depths of despair to the heights of forgiveness and understanding. She was inspired to help others, and her book is a vital tool through this process. Faithful to God and devotional to her beacon of hope, Rhonda Knudsen is a perfect example of finding a guiding light that helped her come through the dark and into the light. Her book can assist you in overcoming your challenges with abuse. The publication of Escape from Hell, A Woman's Story is a triumphant achievement and it can help you take ownership of your own experience of abuse and come through stronger than before. Rhonda is currently working on two more books, Shadows of Corruption and Coast to Coast on a Piece of Toast. To read more about this inspiring author and purchase her books, visit RhondaKnutson.com or go to www.amazon.com. Welcome back, everyone. I'm Kathy Pickett. And I'm hosting the Kathy Pickett Radio Show live on BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. The call-in number tonight is 1-877-475-8570 if you'd like to call in. I will be taking calls after the break if someone's interested in calling. But this segment, I'm going to be going through a guided meditation. And this is one of my favorite things to do. I do it in most all lectures that I do because we can talk about going to that still deep place inside. We can talk about loving ourselves. We can talk about invoking love in ourselves. But it's experiential. We actually have to ignite it and move it through our body and experience it, embrace it. And so um, take this opportunity to join me in this meditation. If you're driving, you'll have to tune in to the replay and and do it when you're not driving. But for the rest of you, if you can take this moment to be still, to be in this present moment in your body, and just let the breath be whatever the breath will be. And I invite you to close your eyes or gaze towards the floor and be in this moment, nothing to do pausing in your life to honor your body, honor your mind, honor your spirit. For this is a blessing when you take the time to be in silence within your own body. So with the next breath, I invite you to breathe in love. Breathe in the frequency of love that is always available for you. Breathe in calm and breathe in peace. And as you breathe the frequency of love, peace, and calm into your body, allow it to move through your lungs and into your heart. Imagine this frequency of love is filling your heart. Perhaps imagining that it's a white light that is uniting with your unique divine light within you and your light's becoming brighter as it's being touched with this universal light and love. Maybe starting to feel a sense of peace and calm. As you allow this sense of love to move gently and slowly through your chest, just let it flow. Let it flow through your heart. And any distracting thoughts or emotions that come to mind, let them out with the breath. This is your time. This is your place to be at one with your divine light. 
And as you remove and let all things that don't serve you leave through the breath, you're bringing in more light and love into your heart. And from your heart, allow this sense of light and love to flow down your arms and out your hands. Sometimes your hands feel tingly because we also release through our hands. Allow the flow of energy to be whatever it will be. Accept whatever is happening as a witness to your body, continuing with a slow, easy breath, with a focused intention to be in this moment in time, perhaps feeling gratitude for something in your life. Feel the gratitude. And as that sense of gratitude also is flowing through your chest and down your arms and down your abdomen and down your legs and all the way deep into the earth below you, you might even imagine that you're in an elevator descending below the earth and you're just sinking deeper into the earth, into the warmth and the love and the nourishment of Mother Earth. As though you're in the womb being healed and Mother Earth takes all discordant energy with her. She absorbs it from us, helping to clear our energy field just by connecting our minds and our energy with the earth. And then we can pull the light, love, and energy of the earth back up through our feet and up our legs and into our body, meeting again at the heart. And at the heart, knowing that we're in a better place because we have invited the light, love, and energy of Mother Earth into our heart. And then allow that energy to flow up all the way out the top of our head. And imagine that energy flowing as far into the universe as you can imagine, above the ceiling, the roof, the clouds, the atmosphere, the solar system, the galaxies. Ah, imagine as your spirit gets lighter and lighter, as it floats to a place where there is no body, there is no mind, there is no time, there is no space. Allow yourself just to connect to this universal love. And then bring that energy back down through the crown of your head. Bring it back down all the way to the heart. And allow the energy from above, far from the furthest star you can imagine in the universe, connecting with Mother Earth and your divine light in the center of your chest. And let this sensation fill your body. Allow it to fill every cell of your body and to fill every space between those cells with the light, love, and energy that is always available to you. Allow it now to just settle in and integrate. As you expand this sense of light, love, and energy around your body, 360 degrees, filling the egg-shaped biofield of your body with this amazing light, love, and energy. Feel this change in your body. Feel the light. Feel the power. Unite with this energy as you let it continue to flow through and around you. Maybe imagining all the colors of the rainbow and the light as the energy flows through and around you. And the energy that we've invited from the earth and the heavens works to fold back into anything that no longer serves us, into the universal quantum field, where one little drop of fear in us becomes nothing in the universal field of love and light. And just allow this dissolving to happen. Perhaps you can even become mist, no longer in your body. We're going to take a short break, but if you can stay in this state and allow all of this to integrate, I'm going to tell you a story of healing when we get back. 
I'm Kathy Pickett, hosting the Kathy Pickett Radio Show, live on BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. Stay tuned. Renaissance woman, trailblazer, maverick. Those are just some of the words to describe to Chandra Poulard, owner and CEO of House of Virgo Entertainment, LLC, a woman minority veteran-owned entertainment company based in Washington, D.C., Ms. Poulard served 10 years honorably in the United States Navy and departed from active duty to pursue her dreams of becoming an entertainment mogul. House of Virgo Entertainment offers script writing, producing, directing, DJ services, editing, and more. They cater to businesses, corporations, college students, working professionals, aspiring artists and nonprofit organizations, and employ veterans of the armed forces. Tashandra Poulard is pioneering the way we view media and taking her brand global. Visit her at www.houseofvirgoentertainment.com or call 281-515-3740 and like her on Facebook at House of Virgo Entertainment, LLC. For over 50 years, Evelyn Stapula has been a loving advocate for people with disabilities throughout the state of Pennsylvania. President and founder of Big Heart Bridges, her organization actively campaigns for legislation and support of civil liberties that meet the needs of disabled individuals with housing, transportation, and employment. Ms. Dupula has joined forces with a variety of esteemed organizations that advocate for the disabled. She serves on the board of the United Cerebral Palsy of Pittsburgh and the Governor's Cabinet and Advisory Committee for People with Disabilities, and she is a consultant for the Pennsylvania Governor's Conference for Women. Her many efforts have led to the implementation of a transportation program for the disabled with the Access Paratransit System of Allegheny County. Evelyn Stapoulis drives daily to serve the interests of the disabled, to protect their freedoms, and enable them to live normal public lifestyles. To learn more, please call 412-491-2605 or email Evelyn at ers92645 at verizon.net. Hey, welcome back, everyone. How did you do with that? I'm curious. If you want to let me know, you can give me a call. I'm Kathy Pickett, hosting the Kathy Pickett Radio Show live on BBM Global Network in TuneIn Radio. The call-in number tonight is 1-877-475-8570. Just a reminder about my website, if you'd like to become a member, it's www.kathypickett.com, and I'd love to hear from you there as well, so we can all stay connected. I'm here doing my thing, wondering about all of you out there and sensing that many of you were able to get to that beautiful, calm state within. Many of you have practiced doing it. Some of you, it may have been the first time and thoughts got in the way or emotions or other things happened around you that distracted you. It does take practice. It takes full conscious awareness and intention to create this place of peace and calm within. The benefit of finding it is that you have more light, love, and healing energy available to you for others. I'm going to tell you a story about a woman that came to me, and it's not an uncommon story. I probably maybe see somebody every week or every other week that um, have very similar situations. So uh, maybe it's one that you can relate to. Uh, I saw a woman in her 60s who was a professional getting ready to retire, happily married for decades, and planned her whole life, planned her retirement, had finances in order. Everything was all set and she was going to do a lot of traveling. But she came to me for a healing energy session because she wanted to feel more peace and calm in her life. She wasn't able to sleep. All pieces in her life were well organized except for her son. He was the one piece that was missing from her perfect, complete, well-organized life. What to do about her son? That was her question. He was in his late 20s, nearing 30, and he'd been addicted to substances for well over a decade. And he's been in and out of rehabilitation programs, bouncing among colleges, um, unfulfilling work experiences, and several messy relationships that didn't work for him well. And she worried about him. She worried about him, and she wasn't able to sleep. You know, he'd been in and out of a lot of trouble, so uh, every day she'd say, hmm, what will happen today? What is the next situation that he'll need to be bailed out of? Will he need money? Will he need a car? Will he be arrested? Will he get a DUI? You know, and 
maybe he won't even be here. Maybe he'll OD. I don't know. So all these fears kept circulating in her world. And of course, she had done such a great job organizing her life. She kept trying to assist her son to tell him what he should be doing. And that kind of created some tension between them because the son really didn't want to listen um, to her because he sensed so much of her judgment and her disappointment that he didn't feel like it was really coming from a, a pure place of his his well-being. And his current relationship that he's in, he's in and out of living with a woman that really supports his addiction. And she also lacks motivation. And between them, they really just rebuke the society's rules for taking responsibility for their life. They're just kind of getting by, I guess you would say. And so he lays low at his girlfriend's house. So his mother doesn't interfere with him and he doesn't feel her judgment and disapproval. And as she was relating the story, her eyes filled with tears, and I could see it really, really affected her heart. She really wanted something different for her son. She said, I'm so positive when he's doing well and he's on track, and when he stumbles, I offer him solutions. And I set healthy boundaries when he's actively using. I, I make him leave the house so he knows the rules. So, of course, you know, the son hides it the best he can and uh, avoids her as much as he can. So they really weren't moving forward. So as you may know from if you've listened to other sessions that I'm able to communicate with deceased individuals, deceased souls, and because they are a spirit of light, they're a vibrating frequency of light, they emit electromagnetic charges that in their field and around them, and they can send and receive energy just like we can. I can also communicate with the living souls and spirits and energy fields as well. So I connected with the sun during the healing energy session and to check in where he was, what, what was he thinking? What were his plans? What um, would he like to tell his mother? And he says, you know, I really want to be on my own. I know that's best. I want to be independent financially. And I really, it's important to me to actually be respected in my community. I want to be able to hold my head high. But you know what? I keep thinking if I really try to succeed and I fail again, that I'll just get knocked down that much harder. He says he was feeling kind of fragile and he really wasn't ready to risk failure yet. He just needed to be in this stayed a little bit longer before he could rally enough to move forward, but he was confident that he would. He just wasn't there yet. He was kind of building the inner inner strength that he would need to do that. And, you know, I sensed that he had a really, really tender heart, and his mind was definitely chemically influ influenced by the drugs, so it kind of creates a cloud. So there's this disconnect between the brain and the heart. I want this but I'm not able to get there because the brain is kind of disconnected. So um, love them we must, right? Because love can help. I asked the son if he had a conversation with his mother, kind of what he would tell her. And, you know, he was really kind of hard on his mother, you know. He says, she just wants to put me in a box. She just wants to stop having to do anything for me. And it's it's all about her. Everything is about her. You know, what does she have to do? It's her money, all about her resources. And all I can feel is her fear and her worry. And it's really, it's really too much. You know, she thinks that I can't make it without her, you know, but I need to do this myself. And I want her to see me and empower me and believe in me. Maybe she can see me five years from now and see me as successful, sober, happy, and free of this demon. I just want her to see me. Please see me. Please see me, he's begging his mother. He says, I've got this for better or worse. This is my journey. And if you keep trying to make every decision for me, where will I be? How can I be on my own? I'm going to make mistakes, but let me, let me. Be there for me when I need you. I do love you. But all you do is see me as a weak addict who takes your time, your money, your resources, and upsets your well-organized life. And he was, this is me. Let me be. I'll ask for help when I need it, but stop. Stop judging me. You can't tie me up in a bow and put me on the shelf. You can't say, all done. Okay, now 
on with my life. And the son said, she is so selfish. She can't bear the pain of having a son who's an addict. So she wants to fix me because I'm not the version of success that she wants to see in the world. And he was very, very strong, very opinionated in this session. And he really wanted the mother to do something different, to let him be. And the so the son wondered, if she doesn't believe I can make it, maybe I can't. What if she's right? When I come back, I'll tell you what the mother's response was. I'm Kathy Pickett. I'm hosting the Kathy Pickett Radio Show Live on BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. Stay tuned. Psychologist, master certified coach, and CEO of the executive and organizational development firm, True North Leadership, Dr. Relly Nadler brings his expertise in emotional intelligence to keynotes, consulting, coaching, and training. He is the author of Leader's Playbook and Leading with Emotional Intelligence that lays out tips and tools for effective leadership. Dr. Nadler has designed multi day executive boot camps for high achievers in Fortune 500 companies and has coached CEOs, presidents and their staff and developed and delivered innovative leadership programs for such organizations as Anheuser-Busch, BMW, MCI, EDS, DreamWorks Animation, the U.S. Navy and Vanguard Health Systems. To learn more and get your free iPhone app highlighting his tools with videos, leadership keys, visit www.truenorthleadership.com today. Global Glory, that's the work of Dr. Marina McLean, COO of Global Glory, whose calling is to serve God. A first-generation British-born Londoner of Jamaican descent, Dr. McLean inherited the hunger for the word from her father, who was a Bible teacher. Growing up, her home was filled with missionaries from the Caribbean islands and America, and she travels the world preaching the gospel. She has a Bachelor of Arts degree in theology and an honorary doctorate of divinity and Christian counseling from Friends International Christian University. Dr. McLean is also a songwriter and recording artist, and her songs are written during summits and conferences in the presence of God. She's recorded three worship albums to date and is in ministry for 28 years alongside her husband, Dr. Rennie McLean, who shares her passion. Visit www.globalglory.org or on Facebook at Global Glory. Call 866-244-5679 and feel the glory. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. I'm Kathy Pickett, hosting the Kathy Pickett Radio Show, live on BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. The call-in number tonight, 1-877-475-8570, if you'd like to get in touch with me and ask me a question. So we were talking about a mother whose son and her were having this relationship where the son was not making healthy choices to move forward in his life and the mother was trying to help him and feeling frustrated. So the son came through telling us that his mother really didn't get him and didn't know how to help him and she was actually making things worse. When I told the mother about all this, she was in absolute disbelief. She said, I would do anything for my son. I would do anything for him. I had no idea how my fear and worry was affecting him. I was only trying to help. She says, I love him unconditionally. I only want what's best for him. I thought if he was clean and sober, he could find the life that he wants. But I just want him to be happy. I asked her if she could close her eyes and envision him in a year. What would he look like? Just... Use your imagination. What do you see? Do you see him in a year? What is he doing? Can you see him in two years from now? She said, no, no, I can't. I can't see him at all. I cannot see past today. He's with a troubled girlfriend. He's living here and there. He's using now and then. He's unemployed. He's lost. She goes, I can't see past that. She goes, I'm afraid to see past that because I don't want to see. I don't want to see what might happen with him. She goes, I don't know what's going to happen to him. And so she was really implanting her fear and worry in his energy field. That's the message she was sending to him. And it actually was attracting more fear and more worry. She was actually compounding the problem, making it more and more difficult for her son to move forward. She was weighing him down with the energy field and her energy field by planting all those seeds. What seeds was she planting? 
seeds of doubt. She fed it a little bit of worry and fear. She was actually making things worse. So I really insisted that she really try to see the possibilities. And she's like, well, he could die. He could be a bum. He could never get back. And I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. What are all the possibilities? You can't even possibly come up with all the infinite possibilities. He could become a leader in the field of addiction. He could be a counselor. He could be a good friend to other people. He may show up through the wisdom that he's learning in another way. Why would you choose to see the worst and not to see the best possibilities? And what would that mean? And she said she just couldn't handle it if if she saw something and um, she'd be disappointed. She said, and it was all an anathema to her. She couldn't quite understand um, where I was going, but, but we kept talking, which was good. And I was describing to her how all this energy of our thoughts and our words and our beliefs are moving in the subtle energy bodies within and around us and how she can actually change the energy that she sends to her son. And that could make a difference. I explained to her about the the heart and the mind being separate and the fog. And the only way to get through is to make the heart energy brighter and brighter so that the heart and the true essence can shine and kind of dissolve the fog so he can start to find his way out. And that if she did a daily reflection every day with the belief that he will be whole, financially stable, and capable of long-term relationships, that she would be creating that in the future with her energy in her light. That's how we manifest our desires. We send out the possibility with a focused intention into the future, and that she could do that. And our thoughts are so powerful. And she was, she was starting to get it. And she was feeling so much better after the healing energy session. She felt clear. She felt like she could really release him and cut the cord to him of being responsible for him. That doesn't mean she won't show up to be present and helpful to him. But she agreed to be more of a witness to his life. And starting to believe in him so that he would believe in himself. If she really believed in him, and that's the message she sent to him over and over and over again, that that's something that could actually shift the possibilities for him. You know, this mind ego that craves and shames and blames, the cycle persists and persists and persists. And unless we can break the cycle somewhere, it will continue. And we can break the cycle by going into the inner worth and the value and start loving that part. It could take months. It could take years. And it may not actually change the outcome of his life in a way that we will ever understand or know. But I can tell you that sending light and love to someone in need of healing will only help to bring about their highest possibility and best good. Bringing fear, worry, and disappointment only makes it harder and harder for them to get out of the cloud and into the mist. You know, it's part of us accepting them as they are, accepting their past behaviors or their behaviors and they're not really them, that there is a divine light in them that knows something different and help them to identify what is within them that they want to manifest. What are their desires? What are their dreams? And how to support what's within them rather than us trying to decide what's best for them. Let them, it's, you know, when they feel the self-love of empowerment, that actually builds and creates more and more self-love. So, you know, there's many paths to many truths. You know, we don't know why people are on the journey that they're on even trauma and sicknesses, all kinds of things. They can provide shifts in our consciousness that would not otherwise have been available to us. So we should keep an open mind as best we can and not to be too critical and judgmental of those of, in our families and friends who need more love from us. So keep an open mind for all the possibilities, not limiting those to the ones that you can imagine but just open it up to the limitless possibilities and the universe and help them to align their divine light with the universal light. Perhaps there's a treasure within them that's going to be opened at a later date. You know, it's a blessing you can't see today. When we come back, we're going to do some tools for sending healing to a loved one. 
I'm Kathy Pickett. I'm hosting the Kathy Pickett Radio Show Live on BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. Stay tuned. Horses, mystical, present, past, and future, all in one. Wild, free, domestic, and healing for everyone. Betty Hames knows this and has put her horses to good use with Nature Connect Equine Coaching. Her mission is to help people affected by the loss of hope and trust in their lives and to rediscover the wonders of nature through nature-connected learning so they can rebuild their lives and live peacefully with newfound hope, trust, and joy. Betty Hames is also a certified elite life coach, a Washington State certified counselor, and chemical dependency professional. She is passionate about partnering nature with healing, and through horses, she sees amazing results and transformation in lives that might have otherwise been lost. Call 509-830-9225 and visit her at HamesLifeCoaching.com. Hold your horses. You're in for the ride of your life. Animal lover, author, artist, and public speaker, Patricia Daly Life is a renaissance woman in her own right. A lover of animals from a young age, Patricia lives on a farm in Virginia and has rescued neglected thoroughbred horses, keeping them or finding them safe havens. She is also a published author, and her books document real-life experiences that she shares in her passionate stories, taking the reader around the world in a colorful kaleidoscope of life. An accomplished artist, Patricia Daly Life's oil paintings feature animals, portraits, stills, nature, and abstract, and she allows the brush to paint the image in an organic, natural way. A public speaker, Patricia is motivated to continually wonder about life and advocates for all of us to do the same and document our own unique history. To learn more about Patricia Daly Life, visit www.literarylady.com and www.patricialife.com or email her at pdlife at gmail.com. Welcome back. I'm Kathy Pickett. I'm hosting the Kathy Pickett Radio Show live on BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. The call-in number tonight, one 475 8570 Love to hear from you. So we're going to do a guided meditation now, and I can tell you I have done this with relationships, parent-child, um, parent-to-child, and parent to parent, parent, so grandparents, all relationships um, that this works with. And I cannot even tell you the number of times that after one session, people have called me and said that night, their son or daughter called them and something was different. It is incredibly powerful. And you know, the fact that we're doing this together, we're sending this light and love together. So we're going to be doing this with somebody in mind. So think of somebody in your mind who could benefit from some healing, some light and love, whatever's going on in their life. I want you to trust that you have the power within you aligned with universal light and love to send this to them for their healing. It's very, very powerful work. It takes full conscious intention and a desire to allow the light and love you'll be sending to do what it is supposed to do. So with that person in your mind's eye, I want you to do the best you can to return to the healing place you were a few minutes ago, igniting the light and love and energy within your own heart. And let that light and love fill your biofield, fill your body, and fill the space around your body with light and love. So you are this magnificent egg-shaped vessel of light and love, a powerful human being prepared to send light and love to someone who is in need of healing. And because you are in this white light and this powerful connection to your divine light, there is nothing separating you from source energy. You are connected to the universal light, love, and energy of the universe. So I want you to imagine this universal life force coming through the back of your heart and out through your heart as you send unconditional love for healing to someone who you care about, someone who you want something different for them. 
And as this is flowing through you, and if you're sensing this, if you are aware of any energy moving through you now and moving out through your heart, that's magic. You're creating possibilities of light and love. You're sending your sparkle, your light out into the world. But you're using the infinite universal life force behind you. It's coming through your back, all the way, your heart chakra from the back, all the way through the front. And if you're able to bring in the violet ray through the crown of your head, so now bring universal light, love, and energy through the crown of your head. Have that join you at your heart. And now just allow the light, love, and energy from within you and from the universe above to flow through to this person. Imagine it meeting them at their divine, unique essence, their jewel at the center of their being, at the center of their heart, that they're able to receive the light and love that you are sending them. You're very focused on their light within them so that that light can begin to expand and move through their body, down their arms, down their legs, into the earth and up through the ground into the heavens. You're filling their biofield, the egg shape that contains their body with light, love and healing energy. You can even imagine that the light from above them is a plunger. So you have this white light above their head. Imagine it plunger, just pushing out any lower frequencies within their body, connecting them deep into the earth allowing Mother Earth to absorb that which no longer serves them. Using your full conscious awareness, any cloud of fear or doubt will be dissolved and folded back into the oneness of the universe. It's going to provide for more clarity, insights, hopes, and dreams. And as you use your imagination to focus more and more on igniting the power within. Sense it in your body. Sense it, hear it, feel it, taste it, imagine it. Know that that power is moving through you with your full intention. Sense what it feels like to be in your power by breathing slowly. Breathing slowly allowing the power to flow through you, becoming more and more relaxed yourself. And you continue visualizing this power moving through you from above, from behind, to this person until it feels solidly real. And in your mind, you can imagine white light surrounding this energy of this person creating a protective cushion around them, igniting the immune system within their body, perhaps helping to balance chemical imbalances within the body, clearing their mind, calming their emotions, and connecting their divine light with the universal love of the universe so they feel loved And once you are absolutely bursting with the radiance of this universal love, allow the knowing that what will come of this light and love is for the highest possibility and the best good. You are connecting divine to divine. And as you do, The universal consciousness absorbs the fears that you had, the fear and the worry and the disappointment. It's all being absorbed and dissolved back into the universe as you fill your heart with light and love, envisioning the light moving through. Healing starts in the invisible world of magic and hope. Trust in your mind that all this is happening and that success already exists in the greater universe. We just need to recalibrate the connections to make all things possible. So let go and let the universe and the angels support our loved ones. Invite the angels to protect them too. 
Unconditional love is the greatest gift you can give. We need to take a short break. I'm Kathy Pickett, hosting the Kathy Pickett Radio Show live on BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. Stay tuned. Do you battle with weight loss? There is a solution. Founder of Weight No More Consulting, Deborah Simons, can help you lose weight safely and effectively through weight loss surgery. I know. I had the surgery two years ago, and I am 135 pounds lighter and medication-free. This full-service weight loss center caters to your every need as you navigate to a healthy weight following surgery. Servicing all of Canada, Weight No More Consulting takes pride in its compassionate care and guides you through each step before and after surgery. Starting with informational meetings, Weight No More Consulting educates each potential client before they decide to have surgery on the health risks of obesity and the various weight loss surgeries available. After surgery, Weight No More Consulting provides a solid support system with ongoing meetings to ensure continued success. Deborah Simons and Weight No More Consulting are committed to promoting your health and wellness through maintaining a healthy weight for life. Are you stressed? Is your stress driving you crazy? Do you know there are many ways to relieve the stress? The Spirit Within Massage and Hypnosis Clinic does just that. Reduce your stress plus so much more. Established in 1997, the Spirit Within Massage and Hypnosis Clinic offers an approach to wellness for those individuals who choose to either utilize appropriate complementary methods to enhance their current medical care or to those individuals who are on their personal journey toward improved health and wellness through the use of therapeutic bodywork, Reiki energy healing, or hypnosis. The Spirit Within Massage and Hypnosis Clinic is owned by Dr. Judy Dean, a registered nurse and board-certified massage therapist and medical hypnotherapist in LaPorte, Indiana. Visit www.spiritwithinmassage-hypnosis.com to see all services offered by Dr. Judy. For a free personal consultation, please call Dr. Judy Dean at 219-326-1380. The Spirit Within Massage and Hypnosis Clinic, 219-326-1380. Welcome back. I'm Kathy Pickett. I'm hosting the Kathy Pickett Radio Show live on BBM Global Network and Tune In Radio. Well, you all sent this magnificent, powerful, healing light to someone who you love and care about and trust that it was received with the love that you sent it. You know, when I talk to the mother, after we did this with her son and we sent light and love and I taught her how to hold him in this protective cushion of light and what a gift that is that she is able to do that. You know, she, she says she's tried everything and that maybe believing in him will shift his pattern. She started to understand how she was actually maybe compromising him to hold him in a pattern. You know, it's so hard. We don't know what to do. You know, it's really hard to know what to do, whether it's a mental illness or if it's cancer. How how can we change things? How can we make things better? We often feel so helpless. You know, she kind of kept expecting him to fail, and he kept failing. And sometimes when somebody is sick, we just expect them to be sick. So changing our beliefs and changing our hopes for the people that we love can truly make a difference. You know, she could keep pushing this kid uphill and remain exhausted and disillusioned with him. Or she could choose to fill him with light. And you know, when we fill the lo our loved ones with light, sometimes they can rise above their current situation and actually find new paths, new paths, new choices. They have free will. So for better or worse, they get to decide. And he may decide to exit this world, and that's his choice. But all the worrying in the world will never keep him here or make him do something he's not ready to do because worry is never enough. If we worry, we worry more. We worry more. It's, there's never enough worry because worry never moves it. So you keep adding more worry. That happens so often. And then you can't sleep at night with all the worrying. So knowing that she has done the most that she can do in the physical world because her heart feels peaceful and calm with her efforts and she's sending light and love, she's able to sleep at night and move on in her life. You know, as a parent, she will still create a bridge during tough times and be there, but choosing to be present and more of a witness, you know, not needing to always steer the ship, but be more of a witness, supporting the direction that he's ready to go when he's ready to go, actually empowers him. And he loves, will love himself more 
in that case as well. So I encouraged her to resist the urge to sweep in and save the day. Everything, something started to go wrong because she knew exactly what to do, trying to control everything, which was really going to be hard for her because she, she likes action. Some people want to be doing something. And sometimes the doing is sending the light and the love and knowing that that's more, more than enough and surrender to the power of the universe that the healing already exists. It's already there. So, you know, this thing I hear a lot of parents tell me that um, they will never feel safe and secure or happy until their kids are okay. And, you know, that's kind of a making that codependent relationship with God saying, just make my kid okay and I'll be safe really doesn't work. It, it hasn't worked that I know of, but I do know sending light and love can shift things in a different direction. You know, we're all wired differently. We all need different things. And I have to tell you, with the addicts that I have worked with, they have the softest, kindest hearts, and they're easily bruised. And you know, that makes recovery a lot more challenging. They often beat themselves up more than we can. So as I've said before, and I'll say it again, love them we must. And we love ourselves for being their witness and honoring this life, the courage that it takes to live the life that they've chosen, whether it's a soul contract or they just fell into it. But if we accept them as they are, that they're doing the best they can, we can actually help to empower them. It is a monumental bridge for parents to cross, to accept their child as they are, not being able to do anything. But love them we must. Next week, I'm going to be talking about activating your power within to heal through creating sacred space and rituals to support that. The affirmation for tonight for this woman I gave her was, I have courage within me to face my fears, to be free, to move on, and to empower my son to be free. This creates a win-win. I'm Kathy Pickett, hosting the Kathy Pickett Radio Show, live on BBM Global Network in TuneIn Radio. May you be at peace with yourself as you are and at peace with your life as it is. May this be your truth. Thanks for listening. Many blessings. See you next week. This has been the Kathy Pickett Show with your host, Kathy Pickett. Listen each week and relax, enjoy, and smile as you discover the innate wisdom within your body to heal, to release inevitable endings, and to spark your transformation. Here on the Kathy Pickett Show, it is your time. You've been listening to the BBM Global Network. The ideas, views, and opinions of this broadcast are those of the participants of the program and are not necessarily the ideas, views, and opinions of the BBM Global Network Company.